Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, guys. I got my brother here, T-Roy, from T-Roy Cooks. And I asked him a question. I asked him, T-Roy, if you could eat one meat for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Check out his answer. Oh, man, I love a good ribeye. I could probably eat ribeye every day. You want a ribeye? I got you, T-Roy. Check it out. So for this cook, I'm gonna be using the best ribeye I could find. I'm gonna keep this cook simple and putting together everything that I have learned in the past. When you have great meat, you don't need much. I'm seasoning them with salt. Garlic powder. Black pepper. And organic thyme. I'm gonna add them to the bag and get them ready for the water bath. Even though I don't always show, I do season both sides. It's ready, let's take it out. Like always guys, I'm gonna pet these babies dry and we're gonna sear them. I got something new to sear it, check it out. This is my new toy. It is an over-fired broiler grill and you can get up to temperatures of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit in just seconds with these two infrared burners. Let's see how it does. They don't look that good right now, but watch this. Alright, this one is for you, brother. Let's cut it open. Let's do it. Go for it, Ninja. Okay, T Roy, this is for you, buddy. <laughs> T Roy, sorry, we're gonna try this in front of you, brother. <laughs> this is for you, my man. That's delicious, bro. Huh? Isn't yeah. it good? 129, not 135 like you like it. It's perfect. It's perfect at it's 129. Perfect. My turn. <laughs> Ridiculous. Fantastic. Go for it, Mama. <laughs> You're right. Thank you, my man. This is delicious. Guys, if you're gonna do a ribeye, do it like this. It's totally worth it. And if you have not seen T Roy's YouTube channel, make sure you check him out. Thanks, T-Roy, for the support, brother. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. If you're interested in anything I use, everything is on the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Guys, now we're gonna do the Q&A. We have a question here from OV Tracking. And the question is, uh, what is Ninja's real name? And why do you call him Ninja? My real name is Jose Luis Garcia. And uh, they call me Ninja because I spent half of my life in YouTube learning how to be a ninja. <laughs> so, 
So that's that's why they're coming in. You have all the accessories and all the stuff at home. The throwing stars and all that. I'm I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real ninja. You're a real ninja? Yeah. <laughs> but reality is because of what we do. Uh, I'm a software developer, software engineer, and we do a lot of crazy stuff here. And uh, normally I'm the one that come out with the crazy ideas and how to resolve problems. And they start calling me ninja because of my uh, easy way to getting into problems and we solve the problems and come out with solutions. That's, I guess, what's, what it is, isn't it? I'll make it easy to understand. So, here's my translator. Here's why Ninja is called Ninja. He does some things in web development that is not possible to do. So, uh, we just came out like, man, you're a freaking ninja. How the hell did you do that? That's why the name stuck and it's been with him ever since. And I call Ninja everybody too, so it's alright. He calls me Ninja, he calls my mom Ninja. We're all ninjas here, so one day we'll do an episode with a... How do you call that thing? You will do that thing. Come on, you are not supposed to live the ninja life! Because I'm a professional ninja. I have to dress like a ninja, not like a turtle ninja or something like that. Ninja turtle, bro! What's wrong with you? <laughs> now I'm just gonna answer a question. Alright, so this question is from Donna Kelly. Um, why don't you have normal plates and utensils? Don't get me wrong, I love the pra practicality and charm of paper plates and utensils. Just with how often you guys get in the office, one does wonder. So basically what happens, you guys already know, we're cooking in the office. And we don't have a kitchen or any place to wash. So it's much easier to just handle the plastic plates and plastic forks than getting the classy and having to scrub that every day. Who likes doing dishes anyways? We out. Make sure you subscribe for future videos. And if you have questions, make sure you use the hashtag. Hashtag SVEQ&A and we will answer on video. Thanks guys. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.